Hello everyone. This video explains the basic operating procedures of the BitBrowser group control system. First, open BitBrowser and find the entrance to the group control system on the homepage. Double click to open the group control system. Here you can choose different group control system versions. It should be noted that if the group control system runs abnormally and cannot be automatically upgraded, please delete the group control system first and run it again on this page. If you use an older version of group control, you need to download and decompress the software package and then run synchronousoperation.exe for start BitBrowser group control system bat. Double click to run the group control system. You can switch between group control language versions in the upper right corner. Click Start to open the group control system. After entering the group control system, you can also switch the language version in the upper right corner of the interface. It should be noted that after switching the language here, you need to re-enable the group control system. First, let's look at how to add, delete, open, close controlled windows. Add controlled window. Step 1. Click there. Add window, button, and the window information in the browser will be displayed in the window list on the right. Step 2. Select the window where group control will be performed in the window list. Step 3. After completing the window selection, click the Add button. The selected window will be displayed in this position. Note that only the window with group control synchronization operation is checked and the window that requires group control synchronization operation must be checked. Delete controlled window. After right-clicking on controlled list, a menu will pop up. Clicking delete selected browsers will delete the currently checked window from the controlled list. Clicking clear browsers will delete all windows from the controlled list. Clicking open selected browsers will open the currently checked window in the controlled list. Clicking, open all browsers, will open all windows in the controlled list. Clicking on, restart selected browsers, will restart the currently checked window in the controlled list. Clicking, restart all browsers, will restart all windows currently in the controlled list. Clicking, close selected browsers, will close the currently checked window in the controlled list. Clicking, close all browsers, will close all windows in the controlled list. Set master control. The master icon will be displayed on the window. In this list of controlled windows, only the checked windows will be subject to group control synchronization operations, and unchecked windows will not be subject to group control synchronization operations. Everyone must remember to check the window that requires group control synchronization operation. Next, sync mass operation, sync keyboard operation. The group control system is turned on by default, and the sync keyboard operations, sync mass operations, sync mouse tracks, and other states in the settings page are checked by default. After checking, click the start button to start the mouse and keyboard synchronization operation. All checked windows in the control list will synchronize the mouse and keyboard operations of the main control window. Click the pause button to stop the above synchronization operation. If you do not want to sync keyboard operations, sync mouse operations, you can uncheck the box. After cancelling, the mouse, keyboard and other operations will not be synchronized. Something to note here, if you modify all parameter configurations on the settings page, you need to click the save button at the bottom of the page to take effect. Next, let's talk about operation. Browser synchronization. Activate window, activate all controlled windows to the top and display them. Uniform size, unify the length and height of the control window to the same size as the main control window. Overlap window, unify all controlled windows, regardless of coordinates or window size, to be consistent with the main control window. Minimize all, minimize all controlled windows to the taskbar. 
You can click Activate Window to reactivate and display them at the top. Minimize All, minimize all controlled windows to the taskbar. You can click Activate Window to reactivate and display them at the top. Lattice Arrangement and Diana Arrangement. Arrange all controlled windows according to the grid and diagonal arrangement. If you click, one click adaptive arrangement of windows, the grid arrangement and diagonal arrangement will not be performed. Tab operation. Unified label, unify the tab page or owls of all controlled windows to be exactly the same as the main control window. Close all, close all tabs of all controlled windows. Close current tab, close the tab opened by the current window. Close blank tab, close all open tabs. Refresh current, refresh the current tab page of all controlled windows. Force refresh current, force refresh the current tab page of all controlled windows, equivalent to pressing CT or L plus F5. Currently open, in all controlled windows. Open the URL you set in the current tab. Add open, in all controlled windows, create a new tab to open the URL you set. Next, we will explain the text synchronization. This function refers to fully automatically sending text input instructions to the browser and fully automatically simulating text input according to the input speed you set. Same text input, that is, input, a piece of text with fixed content. You can enter the content you want to simulate in the text input box, and the input box supports line feed input. Clear text, clear the text content in the input box. Paste clipboard to browser, paste the contents of the system clipboard into all controlled windows. Differential text input. Generate left text, generate right text, enter left text, enter right text. You can set the characters, number, length and other rules of the content to be generated according to the generation settings. Random number input. Random number input, the default value is 0 100. You can enter a number with a decimal point. After clicking, enter, different numbers will randomly appear in each window within the range of the entered number. General functions. Clear input box. In all controlled windows, clear the content of the input box where the current input focus is. Checking. All input functions, clear the original content before input, means, after checking, in the window text input box, when executing simulation input again, Clear the input box first, and then enter again. The above functions work for the same text input, difference text input and random number input. Enter verification. First, at the specified browser, select a window used to locate the verification code area, and then select the main control window. Click the positioning range. Button in the pop up positioning window, use the mouse to select the location area where the verification code is located, and then click the icon to determine the verification code area. Then click the test button, and the system will take screenshots at each controlled window according to the area you positioned above, then save the screenshots to the specified folder and pop up the folder. Select the verification code answering platform and enter the account number and password of the answering platform. The verification code type is filled in by default, 1010. 1010 is suitable for 110 English digits and numbers. If it does not meet your needs, please click the More Types button and the verification code type introduction page will pop up. Just fill it in according to your needs. After setting up the answering platform, click the Get Verification Code button. 
The system will automatically identify the verification code through the answering platform at each controlled window according to the area you are targeting, and return the answering results to the return results list middle. After all the returned results are executed, click the enter verification code button, and the verification codes identified in the return results list will be entered into all controlled windows. Note. Be sure to ensure that the verification code input box of each window is in input focus state. Next, let's take a look at the settings. Log location, you can click the open button to view the log storage location. Batch opening interval, the default setting is 500 milliseconds, which can be set according to actual needs. It refers to the interval between opening each window when opening a window. It is recommended not to set it too long. Sync keyboard operation, sync mouse operation, sync mouse tracks. After checking, when synchronization is turned on, other controlled windows can also perform keyboard, mouse, and other operations like the main control window. Start sync auto minimize, check it and the group control system page will automatically minimize to the taskbar of the synchronization starts. Start sync show floating window, as shown in the picture above, after checking start synchronization, the floating window shown above will be displayed. The floating window includes the number of windows being synchronized, stopping synchronization, restarting synchronization, window synchronization, text synchronization, one-click coding, mouse delay, adjusting the main control window and other shortcut functions. Text simulation input speed setting, customize a value interval. When the window performs text simulation input, different intervals of milliseconds will be randomly generated in this interval. In this way, each window will perform text simulation input according to different random intervals of milliseconds. This feature will work on same text input, Differential text input, random numbers, etc. Mass event delay time settings, the default is off. When turned on, the mass synchronization operation will randomly generate different time intervals to execute mass events according to the set time interval. This function will work on mouse clicks, selections, and other events. Pay attention to the position of the mouse, as the mouse events in the main control window will delay the execution of the controlled window. Note, after opening, when executing multiple mass operation events in a window, do not operate multiple mass events continuously. You need to wait for one mass event to be executed in all windows before proceeding to the next one. Otherwise, delayed synchronization may be unstable. Shortcut key settings. Custom setting shortcut keys, support modification. Preview browser settings. Setting the number of display items per line, you can set the number of items per line in the preview window, which can be viewed on the home page. Restore default settings. After clicking, all set parameters on the current settings page will be restored to their default values. Save. On the current settings page, all modified parameters need to be clicked on Save to take effect. Preview and save screenshots. Here you can set the number of preview window thumbnails displayed in each row. Click the Preview, the latest screen of the selected window, button to preview the latest screen of all controlled windows. Double click the thumbnail to pop up the enlarged image. Save screenshots. Click the Save screenshots button to save all the images in the current preview window to the specified folder and pop up the folder. The above is the basic operation process of the BitBrowser Group Control System. Thank you for watching.